Right! Hello! Uh, we have got the park today. It's a, uh, a psychological horror, which is on Steam. And I like psychological horrors, because it's not, like, jump scary. It's more, you kind of scare yourself. You kind of... I don't know. Oh god, my dog just scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? Scaring me like that when I'm talking about horror games. Why? Why? <laughs> I thought you were a monster and you're the most teddy bear looking dog I've ever seen. Oh, do you want belly rubs? I can't give you belly rubs, Ryan. You literally had all day and now I'm recording and you want belly rubs. It's always the way with you. Sorry, don't look at me like that. I didn't mean it. You're lovely. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Doggy, stay here, in case I'm scared. That was his way of saying yes. Okay, let's go for it. Uh, from what I know, is you're a mother who's lost his her son, and you went here to look for him for some reason, because apparently he came here or something, I don't know. The park is a narrative experience best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with the subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio control, and settings, and your sanity. <laughs> this is perfectly normal and should not be any cause of a... Uh, bah. So yeah, that's good. It, it's going to fuck with my sanity. This has quite a lot of bad reviews, but the only real bad things that people said about it was that it was only two hours long. Um, and that's why I'm doing this series, so that it's not, because I'm kind of trying to get a gap filler between The Walking Dead and Life is Strange for the moment, so this game kind of fits in well. Um, Funcom presents. In my heart and mind, oh. I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. For fuck's sake, Callum. Stay in the car. Go and ask information. <laughs> Stay in the car. It's like... So what, is? has he lost his teddy bear or something? Oh god. The frame rate is... Not fantastic. Hang on, let's have a look. What can we do? I just wanted to get into it. Um, oop! Dog. Oh, phone. Huh? Park is now closed. There we are. Please there we are. The the Press to interact with objects. Examine the plaque. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who used their talents to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May 1977, James B. Longley. So, whoops, how do I get out? Oh, there we go. Cool. Information. Hello. Oh. Oh dear. What? Hello. What? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. For oh, fuck's sake. I'll unlock the gates for you. For oh, fuck's sake. Callum! This is why I keep you in a cage at home. Wait for mommy, Callum! Come on, this way! Alright, where are you then? Callum, where are you going? You know, over here is not all that. Oh, is that you? There's something special about the entrance to an amusement park. Oh, do I have to? What the fuck? The real world and the world of 
The fuck? On this side. It's dangerous. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. I would. Attention employee. The park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Wicked. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, health and safety is a ten out of ten on this in this place. Uh. Uh. Oh, I don't want to get to the top now. <coughs> Hello. What happened? What happened? Why is it suddenly night time? Confusing actually. Come back. Oh, I can't see where the fuck I'm going. Give up. What was that? Where are you? Ah! Callum, you fucking snake. Come here. Oh well, doesn't that look like a place of joy and laughter? Callum, please come back. For God's sake, Callum. Callum! You're adopted. Oi! Callum! Mommy needs to see you, Callum. If you just, you know, stopped. I think this belongs to Calm. What a fucking idiot. Does he not know his shoe has fallen off? Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. Chad can be seen in daily ice sculpting shows. Sideshow Valley. Alley, rather. Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead-end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Yeah! Such fun happens here, I can see that already. Can anyone else hear a chipmunk? What the fuck is that sound? Handwritten notes. What is this about? Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance. Whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals. Just the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the... Reactor? Re... re Brian wanted to say, real tour? Re for or? <laughs> I don't know. Still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. Brian, stay here. <laughs> do not leave. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is a bitter, is bitter with curse. Carried from the old country, old man Henderson. Carried from the old country. Old man Henderson. He did terrible dark things, this land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. I have a great vision for this place. And the will to see that this vision and to see and the will to see that vision through to the very end. Atlantic Island Park. The name is perfect. I cannot imagine it being anything else. This is the start of something amazing. I'm sure it is. I am sure it is. Oh, it was a plant. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my days. I thought it was... Okay. 
See, this is what I mean. Psychological horror. Nothing. There is nothing remotely scary about this. I scared myself. That's what I like. I like games that don't have to. Do oh, well, everything is rendering in at once. Callum, stay where you are. Where is he? Oh, Callum, you fucking idiot! Why? Possessed fucking child. Come here. Right this instant. You know... Oh, can I take this? How do I get on it? How do I get in it? Ah, oh, there we are. Ride Swan. Right, well I know it's not going to be like this for very long, so let's just treasure this moment now. Whilst we've got it, shall we? Fancy Callum just swanning off on his own. How is the ride operating without any operators? Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. A boy named Hansel, and a girl Oh, we did this in drama. And had very little to bite or sup. But the wicked witch. What will become of us? The woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest ha! and abandon them there. What was that? No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Oh god, I haven't. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Okay. The next morning, Woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Aww. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father leaves them, the children wait a while, then follow the trail back to their parents' house. Oh, I can see where Callum is. He's all the way over there, for fuck's sake. What is happening? After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more. Oh, thank God! But found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself. The wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. Good though. What is happening? I don't think this is part of the ride, I'm gonna be honest. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Oh, fucking hell birds. And unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. This isn't the script I remember for Hansel and Gretel, unless we did it differently. We did like... oh. The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Made of gingerbread? Its walls were made of gingerbread. Yay! Its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel, desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? 
Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them two enormous lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, followed. I mean, bearing in mind this is a two-hour game, this is... Ah! Okay, I take it back. Continue, continue. It's the witch! Her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. Oh God! And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. Right. Fab. What a then, because even children. Oh my God! Survive on sweets. They divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. What kind of fucking place is this? Well, that was a delightful story. Hi! Do you want to not? Thank you. It's very kind. Tell him you can't! <laughs> Brian, don't worry, I wasn't shouting at you. Can I get off now, please? Like, right now. No, then. No, then. Can I get off? How do I get off? Oh, it's a cutscene. Cool. Oh, no, it's a loading screen. My mistake. Right, where's my son gone now? Should we do it again? Can we do actually have the option to do it again? No. I'm not doing that again. That was like a whole episode's worth just on Hansel and Gretel.